I want to cancel it. How do I cancel it? Oh, I can do it. Oh, fuck that. Cool. Um, I'm not very good at this game. Okay. <laughs> Things aren't going great. Replenish, or am I imagining that? And I fell off the edge. The rumors were correct, it appears. This is something that actually exists. Square Enix is not letting me have a break from editing this week, but that's totally cool because so much cool stuff to play. So this demo is only available for about 10 days. I'm really hoping that I can record it. And then they're gonna do a survey. So it's kind of like the Bravely Default 2 demo where they send it out, we play it, we give them feedback, and then they update the game based on our feedback, which I think is a really good way of doing things. Like a really, really good way of doing things. This trial version is an excerpt from the full game, a selection of weapons and jobs. Jobs? That must be why they have really basic clothes in the trailer because the main clothes are just like basic everyday clothes, weirdly like real world. And then they get, right, jobs, interesting. This is the free trial of Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, an action RPG that takes the Final Fantasy series in a bold new direction. A survey accompanies the trial version, so please take the time to give us your honest opinions about your experience. Your feedback will be taken into consideration as we continue to develop the game. Cool. So, a day and a half later, Square Enix has finally fixed their issues with Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Had to think about what it was called for a second. Bit of an odd name, but that's nothing new for Square Enix. And I'm ready to play it. I've been, I've been just refreshing the Twitter page every half hour for the past day and a half and nothing. And then I spend all afternoon and evening until 10.30 p.m. editing my last playthrough video for Seven Remake Intermission. And I'm about to just chill out and go to bed and here we are. Stranger of Paradise is finally fixed, so it looks like we're doing it. I'm, I'm ready to give it a go. It's going to be really interesting. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Team Ninja. I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect with this. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, I thought there was a voice language. Voice language, Japanese or English. I thought it was like, oh, there's German language and everything already? Okay, let's just stick to English. Just brightness until the image barely appears. Well, I can't see anything, so... There we are. I can just see that. Okay. I have no idea what this is going to be like. It kind of it reminds me of Seven Remake's text and everything. The title is currently under development and subject to change. Well, yeah, I would expect so. So they're not even calling, yeah, I keep saying a demo, but they're calling this a trial version. Um, I don't know if there's much of a difference. Version 1.03 already. What, what was 1.02? Alright, here we are. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. I'm not really sure what to expect here, but let's start. Uh, breeze through the story. Now I'm gonna do normal. When knocked down by an enemy attack, press X to break your fall. Do you guys say X or I think it was officially announced that it's meant to be cross and use L to determine the direction in which to recover. Interesting. Use abilities. Okay. Well, that, I already don't know if I like that. The blades of grass seem, or wheat or whatever it is, they just seem like it's meant to be transparent, I guess, but it seems pixelated, but is that how it's meant to be? It's not feeling good in my eyes, to be honest with you. And his sword kind of just sits there like cloud sword, like the buster sword, that's good. Hold the touch pad. Oh, how do I attack? Oh, right. I was expecting it to be like 
attacking as the trigger button. Here, is this grass? My eyes. Feels very weird. On the, the old eyeballs. Oh, I'm not even looking on. <laughs> Probably read the instructions or let me progress further. Action ability and attack. So that. Right, regular attack. Action ability. Guard with L1, evade. Okay, that's cool. A goblin. An enemy we all know. And the sword's all bloody now. Classic. Yeah, so apparently, like, their costumes, I remember, like, when I was watching the um, announcement trailer, I was mentioning this, like, what's, why is he just wearing a t-shirt? But apparently that's the style they're going with in this, and they all start off with casual clothes, but, like, modern-day casual clothes. And then they, I think there's a job system, which would be cool. Break enemies by depleting the yellow gauge above their heads, approach broken enemies, and press circle to finish them off with a soul burst. This is very Demon Soulsy. Slaying enemies with a soul burst will help you recover your MP and raise your max MP. Effective use of soul bursts will ensure your action abilities are ready for you when you need them. Press R2 to expend MP and use an action ability to deal heavy HP and break damage to your foe. Right, I was just swinging away. Uh, there are two types of action possibilities. R2 activates your job's unique action and pressing R2 during a normal attack. During a normal attack triggers a combo ability. Okay. Cool. Right. So it's like... Oh, he's got blood on him. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's like the final blow attacks crystallize them, sort of. This whole crystal thing. I was like, what am I supposed to be doing now? Right. Hold circle to deplete your break gauge and adopt the soul shield stance. Blocking an attack in this stance will trigger soul shield, staggering surrounding enemies and dealing break damage. It will also restore MP and increase your max MP. Press R1 after successful block to take a big step forward and unleash a normal attack. Okay. Oops. Oh. Huh. Oh, I have to do it at the right time. <laughs> Doing so well. Use soul shield in time. Okay, right. I'll just, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm good at this. Right. Soul Shield is triggered by an enemy ability with purple name. That ability will become usable as an instant ability. Activate instant abilities by pressing square. Instant abilities do not consume MP. But their number is of uses is limited. Okay. Should I be locked onto him? Is that what's happening? Is that what's wrong? When you have one or more full MP gauges, press L2 and circle to consume one MP gauge and activate Lightbringer. While Lightbringer is active, you deal increased break damage to enemies and their max break gauge is reduced when you hit them. When they reduce to zero HP, you'll be granted FX equal to a soul burst. Activate... This is a lot for me to take in with my current brain. Activating Lightbringer changes the break gauge into a special gauge that depletes over time or when hit. Lightbringer ends when the gauge is fully depleted. Jack cannot be broken while Lightbringer is active, making it particularly useful when the break gauge is nearly empty. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Just want to feed all the goblins. Are they the Warriors of Light, like, reborn or something, but, like, an age later? Yeah, I'm all good with them going in, like, a bloody direction with Final Fantasy. Doing something a bit different. Particularly, it's, it's not like it's just Final Fantasy 17 or anything, and everyone's like, you fuck the series. But, like, yeah, I'm, I'm still skeptical. But, I mean, it's still very early. Still very early. I'm quite tired. <laughs> okay, tell me the story. Skull. Classic. Okay, I'm actually feeling some rumble. That's good. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. This is pretty much gonna be the trailer, isn't it? But the trial. Depending on how long this goes for, it might be. I'll do the second half in the morning. Touch cube. About touch cubes, save spheres. Touch cubes restore your HP, MP, and refills your potion. Refill your potions. Right. If your max MP was lower than your initial MP, it will be restored to the initial value. Doing so will, doing so will revive any slain enemies and remove any unclaimed items from the field. Ah, when you fall in battle, you will return to the last cube you have touched. Okay, change preset. This looks like Final Fantasy 15. Swordsman. Oh, I can't change the link. So I guess we don't have any other jobs available at the moment. Display list. Oh, okay. So I have to go all the way through Swordsman and then I'll unlock Warrior. Yeah, Ninja Warrior. Or he's gonna use War Cry with R2. Right, interesting, interesting. Not enough job points. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, there's something about this that obviously is early in development or early ish. It's not, it's not done, it's not polished, but it feels unpolished. Um, not surprising, but I'm pointing it out that it does feel that way. Great swords of balance slashing weapons. Attacks can be charged by holding down R1 and then pressing L1 while charging will perform an advanced guard, reducing the amount of enhanced and advanced, um, reducing the amount of break damage taken. Press R1 during an enhanced guard to perform a follow-up attack. During a combo, R1, pressing L plus R1 unleashes an upward strike attack down and R1 triggers a spinning attack followed by a charge attack. Swordsman can perform spinning slash pressing R2, swinging their swords and holding an R2 will increase the ability situation. Okay. Hold on. Okay, cool. Okay. 
attack my bitch. Ah, oh, save. Right, okay. I can't get past the fact his name's Jack. It's like Clive and Joshua in 16, and it's like, really? Um, when leveling up, you'll be rewarded with job points. Great. Job points can be used in a tree to obtain skills and abilities, which for. Upon leveling up, you'll be rewarded with job points. Great. Job points can be used in the tree to obtain skills and abilities, which fall into the following three categories. Combo, powerful techniques that are triggered during regular attacks. Command, versatile techniques that can be used for, by any job. And passive, supplementary effects that are always active after you obtain them. Cool. Oops. Just took a screenshot. Uh, great, let's unlock like that. Equip acquired abilities from the battle settings menu. You can reach the menu by pressing X while selecting the acquired ability. Equip. Equip combo abilities from the combo ability screen. Combo abilities can be used by pressing R2 during a normal attack. Right. Raging slash spinning slash. Raging slash spinning slash. Sure. Stranger's clothes. So why? What's up with that? Just want to know what's up with the clothes. Will they explain any of this? Let's get to the story part. I want to turn the lights off so I can see this better, but obviously I need it for the. Let's go. Let's knock them down. Yeah, I'm just press square again. Ah. Jack will be broken when his gauge break gauge is depleted, causing him to be temporarily defenseless. This also decreases max MP and will remove any instant abilities he would have Max MP will not fall below his initial MP value. Right, probably just keep increasing it, which is what I was saying before. Okay, I'm temporarily fecked. How did I die? Right. Falling in battle. After falling in battle, you will lose any instant abilities obtained and re be revived with reduced max MP if the last cube you've touched. Oh, if your max MP is lower than your initial MP, it will be restored to the initial value. Okay, make sure you have enough MP for challenging strong foe. Right, so it's all about obtaining more MP. Right, and when you block successfully and stuff, you get more MP. <laughs> Building, oh, there we are. Yes, that increases my max MP. Okay, so you need to fight enemies. Right, you fight enemies. Ah, oh, jump up. So you increase your enemies and you can take on stronger enemies. I don't know about pushing the middle, the, what do you call it, trackpad to unlock things as well, to open chests and to activate with things, it just seems, uh, I probably just need to get used to it, I just haven't done it before. 
It's not really out of the way. Let's take it down. Can I jump? No, you can't jump. What? Surely I can jump. I'm sure if I play the Souls game, I'd be less terrible at this. Oh, I can do Oh, fuck that. Cool. Um, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> because it's just different to what I'm used to. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Alex. So I'm keeping my level. Deck yourself out in high level equipment to gain an edge in battle. Great. So if I press L3, automatically equip the highest grade. Right. Ah, oh, cool. That's much better. And he's got an actual fantasy esque looking outfit now. Well, top, anyway. Do I save or does it auto save? That's what I was saying at the start, wasn't it? That it auto save. Oh, I thought that I lost my. <laughs> Job level for a second. See, I'm the type to go in hacking and slashing until I win. And I'm not naturally that great at not just doing that. Strategy? No thanks. I do feel kind of cool when I stomp on them and they turn into crystals. Oh my god, I keep forgetting I can block. I was just trying to block with the circle. I'm still not really sure. I should have been paying attention. But I'm still not really sure when you use the circle block and when you just regular block. And when, wait. <laughs> and when you stomp on them and when you just attack them till they die. All right, let's try and take on this guy again and not die. Oh God, I want you to attack one of my mates and not me, thank you very much. In there, but sweet. Don't send another one. I'm not good enough. Right. Okay. Interesting. Um, right. Solid. So you don't properly pause unless you go into the pause menu then pause. <laughs> go into the menu then pause. So is he going to kill me if I? Oops. Okay, so R1, R1, R2. Piercing thrust. Wait, raging slash. Let's hope that I'm not dead. Ah, okay. Make the whole thing collapse. Okay, cool. Nice one, Jag. Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. Dark Vents. Fiends emerge from Dark Vents scattered about the shrine. Slaying enemies that have emerged from the vents will lower their break gauge and destroying the vents will stop the flood of enemies. Okay, great. I have to stop soon because I'm gonna run out of space. 
on my camera, my computer's busy exporting my last video, so it's not able to do anything right now. And I can dash. I've got another. And maybe this is the place to stop. I'm seeing some potential, but I'm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm sort of biased against it because I'm not immediately good at it because it's different to what I normally play. Uh, that being said, I think, yeah, there's potential. There is potential. Um, I need to give it a bit more time, I reckon. Someone in the comment section for my reaction video for this trailer said that it looks like a PS3 game and I can kind of see that. But then someone else said it looks more like a PS4 game. And it's like, well, to be fair, Yes, um, it is also going to be a PS4 game. Um, it's across PS4, PS5, Xbox One and Xbox, Xbox SX. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there uh, because I just can't think straight right now and I want to, I want to approach this with fresh eyes because I just feel clumsy and I'm getting slaughtered. I'm definitely, definitely interested to see what they do with this story because what is, is this a sequel to Final Fantasy 1? Like, what is it? I don't get how Garland... But it's Final Fantasy Origin, so is it a prequel to Final Fantasy 1? Is it just an alternate universe? These guys are meant to be the Warriors of Light, right? Very interesting. Very interesting. I'll see you in a second once I've slept through till the morning. Whatever. See you in a sec. Alright, I've slept, I'm back, I'm rested enough to be able to take in new information. Turns out you can't actually exit the game and then come back to one of these save sphere things. You go back to the main menu. However, it does save all of your progress in terms of leveling up and items and equipment and everything. You just have to start the mission again. So if you, yeah, if you go into the, the menu and then go um, abandon mission, that's how you, you can go back to the main screen, but then you still get to keep all your stuff. So I'm still level eight swordsman or whatever. Um, so I had to do the mission up until this point again, which second time around took me about five minutes. So um, I'm getting a bit better. I'm not as terrible as I was last night, but it's also probably because I have rested. And this time around, I got a couple of extra items. So it wasn't the same items in the chest this time. So now, as you can see, I've got this cool bandana and I've also got these shadow guards instead of the gloves. I had these gloves on before, now I've got these gloves. I really do like how, as you get new items, new accessories, new equipment, it actually displays on the character. I also didn't notice last time that I picked up a Great Sword level 4 and I was still using my Great Sword level 1. So, rookie. Rookie mistake. So I got the gloves from my chest down here. Sorry, I forgot to record it. Let's progress with the shield, the game. Alright, magic attacks like fire will still deal some damage even if you guard. Try sidestepping, rolling out of the way or using soul shield to avoid losing HP. One thing that I did notice, and I'll insert a clip here, is that when, is that the character animation for you and your buddies all standing still, just breathing, they have exactly the same stance and the same like animation. Like, look at this, it's just, it's like they're all synchronized breathing. Anyway, I'm sure it's just because, again, it's a game in development. They haven't got to that point yet of individualizing. Oh, it's a bomb. Okay, cool. Um, individualizing mates. Where are my mates speaking of? Cool, sidestepped. Oops. Oh my god, I was just saying like, how I'm actually a lot better now. Turns out I'm not. So how do I use a potion now? Yeah, blew up. Job level 9. So I also went up a couple of job levels. So if we have a look at the job trees. Colleague's got a strength boost. I can get another, uh, maybe I can't yet. Not enough job points, so I only got one job point. So next I can either do spirit plus four, which then leads on to all damage taken, decreases by 10%. That's quite useful actually. Or I can increase my stamina, or I can increase my strength, which leads to high bringer. But then I could also unlock Warrior. I think I need to go this way and get rid of damage. Yeah, do the damage by 10% thing. Okay. Shall we move on, friends? Oh, another bomb. What a mistake of mine. Oh god, I'm just on fire, aren't I? Oh god. Whoa. 
Did not realize that was happening. I'm so much better now, guys. Just wait till you see. I've noticed the camera isn't that great, but it could also just be my control of the camera, to be fair. But I got stuck like, against a wall before with an enemy in front of me and I could not see anything. Like I was just blind blocking, hopefully that hoping everything will work out alright. So it doesn't seem like I can actually customize Ash or Jed at this point. Uh how gloves. Reduces my physical defense but increases my attack, magic attack, and magic defense. Sounds good. Okay. Am I ready to take on a goblin and a bomb? Let's see. Bumbling. There you go. Oh, damn. I was like, yeah, I'm so good locking that fire. Oh my god. Come on, bitch. I'm trying to change the camera angle, but it keeps changing my lock on target. Right. Pale Greaves. Wait, is that what I just got before? Pale Greaves, not Pale Gloves. No, Pale Greaves. Because they're shoes. I mean, yeah. Cool. Great. Leveling up all the time. Oh, so I can... You can be in the battle menu and literally still be moving around. He's gonna attack or anything. Okay, cool. cool, cool. So it's gonna like the last of us how it's still like Let's wild go. play. Dead. Pick up a nine. Pay on gloves. This way looks sick. Great sword level nine. Great sword. And I can increase my. What did I start I wanted to do? This way. Oh god. Spirit plus four. I don't know if that'll help. Just abandoning my friends to do it. Oh god. Great sword level nine. Okay. That should help. Oh, it's still getting me. Okay. And then they've got me. All right, so should be fine here. We got company. Oh. Keep getting to lock on. This the fucking attacks is going. Yeah, I don't like how you switch between lock on enemies with the right analog stick, but that's also how you change the camera angle. So I'm trying to change to get a better camera angle, and it keeps changing the target that I'm locked onto. But I'll give them that feedback. So that 
also took out the other enemies. Interesting. Should I go back and kill the bombs now? Is my friend alive again? He is. This is a lot. This is... Okay, now I'm gonna save up for that because I need three job points. I could get increased stamina or increased strength. But I feel like all damage taken decreasing by 10% is very useful. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder how long this um, demo is. Twilight Racers. It's a downright arrow, so I'm assuming it's there not you. I can't live with the jack here. Don't give up on me, Ash. Oh my god, how am I supposed to do four at once? I'm gonna die. Oh. Maybe I'm not supposed to do four at once. Maybe this was literally here so you could avoid doing four at once. Warm welcome. I don't stand a chance. You guys can take out the fire guys, thank you. Let's take out the other goblins. Oh my god! How many fucking attacks in a row did that fucking goblin do? I'm like, it's fine, he's done. No. He wasn't done. Cool, I would like more MP. And I forget how that is done. To be honest. I think I should have done easy mode. Oh, I got a new ability. How do I use it? I'm just hoping I don't die before I can take this guy out. Oh. I'll just take out this bomb. I'm nearly dead. Oh, bomb's dead. Okay. <laughs> Things aren't going great. Things are not going great. What's this do? Reinforce. See anything following us? Let's get ourselves together. Let's get ourselves together. I don't have any more potions, so how do I get myself together? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, so. Who knows you can smash things? That makes sense though. Did I miss some things to smash back here? Should I go back to smash? There's some health right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Does my health slowly replenish or am I imagining that? And I fell off the edge. So apparently you can fall off the edge. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I was just imagining it like, I guess, remake where you just, you can't fall off the edge. Cool, falling in battle. After falling in battle, you lose any instant abilities obtained and may revive with reduced max MP. The last cube you touch, why is it a cube? If your max MP was lower than your initial MP, it will be restored. Okay, it's the same thing as the other thing. But do I get a new chest? No. Well, at least I keep my levels. At least I have that much. Where's the next lot of enemies? Hello? Bitte starb ich nicht. Oh god, I was right near a save cube. It loads better that time. Should I go back and kill the bombs? Or should I just continue on? I'll just continue on. Do -do 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 -do. 
I like how the environment like travels around you. That's pretty cool. Um, yep, yep. Oh, I can. Mm. Yes. Very what? Good. What's in there? <laughs> Ah, oh, battle sets. You have unlocked a second battle set. You can instantly change from one to the other with triangle. Each set has its own break gauge. Switch carefully between the two to give yourself an edge in battle. You can change your battle sets by opening the battle settings menu and pressing triangle. Time for a change. All right, this is the one. Okay, so then I have a club. Have to club. get through those flames. Water okay. might do the trick. Ah. Maces are strike weapons that specialize in dealing break damage. Attacks with maces are quicker than attacks with great swords, and shields can be equipped while using them, making maces versatile weapons for both attack and defense. Attacks can be charged by holding down R1 during a combo R1, press that, blah blah blah. Mages can cast black magic by holding down R2, up to two MB gauges will gradually recover while casting spells. Switch spells with L, okay, cool. Holding down R2 while casting will increase the tier of the spell. Fire Fear of Gregor without expending an extra MP. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool way of doing things. Each attack has individual attributes. Physical attacks have the slash, pierce, or strike attributes, while magic attacks have the fire, ice, lightning, water, earth. Okay, whatever. Lock onto the fire. And I'm going to cast water. That's cool. Okay, I like how they've done magic. But now also, can I cast this cast one with the thong? Chain cancel. Press triangle immediately after using an action ability to activate a chain cancel and switch battle sets faster than usual. Right, okay, pushing L will allow you to move in the direction you choose at the same time. I feel like you get real good at this game once you learn all these things, but it's a lot to memorize. It's gonna take a while to like get used to muscle memory wise. And you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Use this to unleash follow up attack and the end. Okay. Surprised I died, but anyway, I can reuse the water thing without wasting it this time. All right, and then I immediately waste it again because I forget to fucking lock on like usual. <laughs> wow, that was interesting. Okay, this game's a bit of fun. Pick up. I walk straight into the fire. I'm just not getting much better at this. You know when you watch someone on YouTube and you assume they know what they're doing? Apparently that's not me. Please give me my games I've played since childhood and I'm already good at. Perfect. Give me Kingdom Hearts 2. Amazing. I'll just replay that 17 times. There's been construction happening in my street literally all year and for a good chunk of last year and the windows just block out bloody nothing so anyway equipping weapons or armor with a different affi job affinity will grant a bonus to experience greater chance to have high affinity value so pay special attention to the loot drop by powerful foes a battle set's job grants job affinity bonuses to your second battle set the effects of status type passive skills such as strength plus will also be carried over to other sets Add a job you want to strengthen to a battle set or include a powerful job to boost your stats to give yourself an edge in battle. Okay. Some single pieces of equipment take up multiple slots, for example, a pile protector. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, so swap between mage and swordsman. Okay, right. 
And then what do I do to optimize, optimize L3? Ah, interesting. My instinct is to go back and save again, because I'm one of those people that is constantly saving, but I don't think we can. That vibration felt pretty good. The vibrations I felt so far haven't been very mind-blowing. But again, they're early in production, so maybe like, this isn't one of the first things that they do. Just used to PS5 games having good, um... Time for a change. I mean, good tactics, is what I was trying to say. Sweet. Oh, and I need to be careful not to fall off. And then, 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 then. Probably fell off there for a second because the game glitched for a second. Oh, yay, Shadow Bakes. Battle setting seems like a weird thing to call equipment, but I guess it comes multiple things. He looks a bit stupid. And I'm still pressing square to attack. Bloody remake integrates stuck in my brain. Would you stop hammering, please? Trying to make a YouTube video, excuse me. Bit rude. Block, 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 and I can't lose that, and I'm not blocking. Cast a coat! Cast a coat. Seems to lower everything, but sure. Oh. Alright. What a badass. This is the one. <laughs> Time for a change. This is the one. Time for a change. Alright. This is Garmin the one. on steroids. All right. E R C now. I'm not gonna try and sing that song because I don't. <laughs> um, is it just blowing everything else up for me? Great. Thanks, Bon, for taking out the wolves for me. Is that supposed to happen? Sure, why not? Right, you're going down, wolves. Come on, follow me. You know what I should have done is I should have used a magic spell. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. Back to next door, but... I'm trying to use a potion. Damn it. I never realized he's low on health until... Yeah. Until it's too late and I start trying to use a potion. And I die. And I die. But anyway, do I have any, um... It's a bit sad. Should I really put this on YouTube? I don't know. Well, I'm going to because I don't really care. Oh, you earn job points with the one that you're in. That makes sense. Okay, I thought that you just earn job points and you have to select what to use them on. I've got a bunch. Okay, intellect plus two. Ruin. Hmm. Improve recovery from normal attacks. That seems good. Frost swing. So our frost swing sounds fun. Let's do that. Equip, so R1, R1, R2. Do, 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 Good, good. Now I will cast a spell. I cast a spell on the wolves. Uh -oh. 
seems to be weak to fire, so no cast for the Rager. Okay, unlocked on! Well, that's annoying and a waste. Didn't know that could happen. Okay, let's try that again. Like a mat! So this is where I'm going to leave my first hour playthrough. I actually spent a bit longer than an hour doing this, but it was definitely not the first hour of the trial version because I was just not particularly good at it. So, first impressions. And I'm going to point out, I'm aware that it's a trial version and that it is still in development. But obviously the trial version is all that I have to go on, so this is what I'm going to be talking about. So don't get in the comment section and be like, yeah, Alex, of course the graphics aren't good. It's in development. It's like, well... I'm still gonna mention it because this is the information that I had. So let's start there actually. Graphics, they could of course be better. At the moment, it, it definitely feels like it's still in development. There are some cool things about it. I think there's definitely really good legs on it. Um, the lighting will probably be amazing. I have come straight from playing Remake Integrate. So that probably affects my feelings about it a bit. Like it's still a bit shaky. You can, I don't know if you can see this, but it's sort of, yeah, shaky. Everyone's animations are exactly the same, as I mentioned earlier, like their breathing is all in unison and exactly the same. This lightning dude, he just doesn't look good in my opinion. He just looks like they need to do more texture and detail with his hair or something. He just looks fake. Um, the other two look better, but it's not PlayStation 5 graphics yet. But again, I'm assuming that as they go, they'll really improve the textures, they'll really improve everything. Like, look at this plant. Not realistic. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Square Enix has the capabilities to make a really beautiful game, and I'm sure that they will, but for the moment, that's the first thing that stands out to me. That definitely needs to be improved. Um, some of the battle stuff, like, I'm not sure how I feel about interacting with things with the touchpad. That's just kind of, it gets a bit like, like, I can reach that, but not super comfortably, and I don't know that everyone will be able to reach it that comfortably. I will be getting, like, the edge, because I have fairly long fingers and thumbs, right? But, like, if I'm holding the controller properly, like, that's the extent of the reach of my thumb, I feel like that might be an issue for some people. Something I love, though, is the fact that you can change jobs right. so quickly like this. When I first saw it, I thought that it was a paradigm shift situation, like from Final Fantasy 13. But I love that you can just immediately change jobs by pressing triangle. I think that's really cool. I love that when you get new accessories and weapons, as soon as you equip them, you can see them on the character and it actually changes their character model. Like, that's really cool, I think. That's a thick sword. I didn't realize it was that thick. Oh my god, it looks like a club. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like the current lock-on, having to lock on with R3, but then that also being the change camera angle, because sometimes in battle you want to change the camera angle because it gets all confusing and you're like, cool, someone's attacking me from behind, but I'm trying to stay locked onto this guy because if I don't lock onto this guy in front of me, my attacks are going to go completely nowhere because there's no sort of auto lock on 
for attacks. So you have to be locked on to make sure your hits are landing, but you also have to use this to change your camera angle to see who's fucking casting fire on you from behind. So I don't like that at the moment. So when you do die in battle, as I have done once or twice <laughs> while playing this, I like it when you go back to the previous save cube, whatever you want to call it, you don't lose your items and experience and your job points and everything because it's not a complete waste. And if you're struggling at, let's say, a boss in the next area, it's not like you have to keep doing it over and over again or go off somewhere else and train. At least you're leveling up. So that's cool, but you still have, you still lose the MP. So you still have an incentive to not die. I love how you can cast spells like this. I think this is a cool mechanic for spell casting. What I don't love is that you can't cancel it once you start doing it. Cause it's like, oh, I pressed it. Oh shit, now I, I don't want to actually use it. But whoops, it's too late now. And now I have to wait for my MP to restore. Anyway, I was having trouble before trying to actually lock onto someone while I was casting a spell. And I was like, well, I need to cancel it and move. And I couldn't do it. And the spell casting looks cool. Um, but I'll give all this feedback to Square in the survey that they do afterwards. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about getting so many items that are useless. Like if, if I look at, like I've been playing for an hour and I've got five different fucking great swords all at different levels when I really just need the highest level one. Like what's the point in all these other swords? Annoying. The leveling up system seems quite good. Job trees. Yep, oh, I can unlock, yeah, let's unlock warrior. You've unlocked an advanced job. You can select it from battle settings menu. Advanced jobs can use more specialized job abilities and a wider array of weaponry. Find a job in a quick combination that suits your playstyle. Cool. The only other thing that I can think of is that, yeah, that opening scene when you're in the field with the grass everywhere, that just looked really dodgy. It kind of was not interacting well with my eyes. So I hope that they fix that up. I love that they're going in a different direction. They're trying something new and I think it'll be very interesting if it is a sequel prequel to the original Final Fantasy games sort of expanding that universe a little bit will be interesting to see how that works. I don't know how it's gonna work for the moment. Um, but yeah, obviously they've still got a long way to go. I also feel like Square, why is the entire cast male again? Because we've already seen this in Final Fantasy 15. We've done the whole brotherhood traveling band thing and I'm getting the same sort of vibes from these three. We'll see what they do. We'll see if they add any more characters, but I kind of doubt it. Three Warriors of Light instead of four is unusual for a Final Fantasy game, but I guess, again, it's a very different take. Yeah. Mm. And I'm interested to see why they're wearing human, human, like normal everyday clothes, like what we'd see just walking around the streets to begin with. Like, is it meant to be that they've been brought out of this world? Speaking of clothes, in case anyone was interested, you can go naked. And he's just wearing what looks like everyday underwear. And the sword is just magically magnetized to his back, much like the buster sword, just kind of floating above his skin. Anyway, let's optimize his equipment again. Beautiful. I know you were dying to know if you could make the character semi-naked and there you are, you're welcome. Thoughts down below. Can you play it yourself? Have you played it yourself? What did you think? Are you gonna get it? Anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, bell, etc. And I'll see you in the next thing. Bye-bye.